major scientific milestone. We are getting a look at vivid new images that were captured by the James Webb Telescope. It is the largest and most powerful orbital obs uh, observatory ever launched. Our Rob Olson joins us live now from the U of M. Rob, a professor there has a very cool connection to this telescope. Yeah, you know, for anybody in the scientific community and particularly the Department of Astrophysics here at the U of M, these new images are the first promise of a couple of decades of making new discoveries from a telescope that's already been several decades in the making. How excited are you to see these first images then come up? Oh, it means it works. <laughs> you know, for Professor Evan Skillman, the initial excitement of these first images from the Webb Telescope is the nearly three decades of work to get them. The planning that began in 96, the construction that began in 2004, the launch last December, and then achieving an orbit one million miles from Earth. So many points, he says, where something could have gone wrong. And there were all of these single point failures that they would talk about, you know, if, if it unfolds, if this comes into focus, if this were, you know, if it cools down. And everything, everything is, is, to my understanding, everything is working at spec or better. Skillman, a University of Minnesota astrophysicist, is involved in a handful of research projects that will use web images. It is looking at some of the same things that Hubble could see, but sees far more detail that Hubble simply could not. So you see all these little dots in there? They're, they're, those are all embedded stars in here. And, and you don't, in, in the Hubble, you don't see them because the, the Hubble only goes to a wavelength of two and a half microns or so, and this can go out to 28 microns or so, so you can see through the dust to see these embedded stars. These first images from Webb show in great clarity the beginnings of the universe. Because these are so far away, they're actually from the first half billion years of the universe, when stars and planets and full galaxies were still taking form. We have glimpses or whatever, but it's different from getting the whole picture, and, and Webb will deliver that. His excitement is not just answering questions they couldn't even ask before, but perhaps getting answers to questions they never even thought of asking before. The other thing that's, that's not been talked about at all, but we know from history, is that the Webb will turn up some things we never knew about. Yeah, so I mean, this, these images really, really look at some of the finer details that they just couldn't see before that really will answer more of these questions about the formation of these stars and planets and galaxies. You know, you're talking about 13 billion years ago. Now, one point of excitement here, he talked about, uh, you know, th that it works. Well, it was forecast it might operate for five or 10 years, and that's based on the amount of propellant it carries because it takes fuel to move the thing to different positions but he said it was so efficient in getting into position now they think they have enough fuel that it can move around for up to 20 years live at the u rob Olson, fox 9. yeah incredible all right thank you rob